person named Man Man. I'm going to be showing you guys how to survive the first um, day and night. It's either going to be one video that's kind of um, sketchily, um, like by that I mean badly um, hooked up at the very end of it, or it's going to be um, two different videos. I'm not sure which I'm going to do right now. I don't really care about my guys' looks. A lot of people like spend a lot of time here. I usually just do this. This is usually why I do five five minutes. too much right now. Just waiting for it to load and well see you guys then. You know, I wonder who Relogic is. Underworld. Ah, I'm destroying time. Gosh, if you have seizures, I would look away right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Pew. Boom. 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 Pew. 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 Yeah. Oh, put that on the floor. Okay. So, so once you're in the world, the first thing you want to do, well, if you spawn like me next to a mushroom, you might want to collect that. You can, um, the first thing you want to do is chop down wood. You get wood by holding down the, the axe on the very bottom of the tree, or you can do it higher up, like I will demonstrate in a second, like this. You can also chop down the branches, which I don't see any use except to waste your time. Because you can get all the tree by just mining it quickly by hitting the stump. But if that's what you if you just want the barren tree, you can wipe off the leaves and not the leaves. But you can wipe off all the branches or branches. You can defend the guide if you really want to, but don't think he's gonna be much much use right now. You can hit the bomb if you hit the bomb right below the sunflowers, and they break off and get into you. Oh yes, these are plants. I mean pots. 
got... Oh, wait. I can't edit, so that might be a problem. But anyways, um, these are pots, so you have to, um, you smash them, and they give you stuff. Um... I'm just going to. Uh, I'm going to currently do what I'm doing right now. Just mining some ore. Um, iron ore can be used. Can um, you get a furnace? I'll uh, I'll explain the whole uh, what iron does in a second. By the way, this is just for anyone who doesn't know about Terraria, because really, if you don't know about Terraria. Actually, wouldn't surprise me because not a lot, uh, not not everyone knows about Gerard. I could probably ask a lot of people, and, and they just say, "Huh? What's Terraria?" Torches are made with, um, you push escape to open up the inventory screen, and then you can, um, I use a scroll wheel to scroll through the crafting recipes. This is how you craft it. You get, um, you need torches to light up area. Now, unlike Minecraft, I think, um, enemies can still spawn in light. It's just, actually, is there any point in lighting up areas? Oh, yeah. Unlike Minecraft, this game actually gets pitch dark to the point where you can literally not see a thing. So in order to get um get it, you need um slime ball. You not slime ball, wait. You need gel. You get gel um by killing those slime things. Now um this stuff is, um, copper. I'm going to begin it. It's, um, I think you might be, I think, um, it either requires an anvil or a crafting table. I'm pretty sure it's a crafting table, but, yeah, it's, I'm probably not the most suitable person to be doing a how to survive, but, you know what? <laughs> oh, here. I mean, I'm sure. So, I have three gel right now. You walk up to the slimes and kill them. And it gives you, um, coins, which I will discuss, um, in a future episode. And, um, copper ore. The copper is... The copper ore can be used to make, um, better weapons and, um... At some point, you can actually make a clock out of it, like a, a hand clock, that, um, I don't, oh yeah, the use for that is to tell the time, it's just, it's just, um, it's fairly inaccurate, I think it's like, um, an hour, so, you can also, in the future of this, like, the pretty far future, you can, um, get like a gold and silver one which will allow you to do, um, other things, such as, um, it, they'll make it so that you can get more accurate timing, which is, like, by 30 or, or even on exact minute. Now, there's many uses for all the ores, many of them, but, um, I'm just going to be doing the ones that I can. Now, um, sometimes I would just, um, Oh, here's a cave. Well, this will be good to get some resources. But for now, we're just going to set up shack in um, this little cave. This little hole I made. Oh yeah, and also, um, the, if you hold the torches, they'll provide light. The area around you. Okay, hello everybody, and this is either going to be the second part, or, um, or, um, the, the next
next part of the video. I'm sorry about the sudden turn off, so I and I hope it's like not too bad because I just um the way my setup is I can't actually tell when the video's gonna turn off, so there's a problem there. But anyways, um I think I'm I'm just gonna start talking. Um Larry, I think his name is pronounced Gary, but sometimes they call him Larry. Um, who was in my first discussion video. Haven't really seen him lately. He's not real. But, yeah, he's just, uh... Okay, do I really need to be explaining what Larry is? Do I really need to be explaining that? Just tell me, guys. Can, would you really believe me if I said Larry was real? I hope not. Because he is! Just saying, he's not. He's completely fake. Um... doing too much right now. I'm just getting the wood I need to survive the, the night. I'll explain the enemies and the, what they do during the night. I, I'm just going to turn the volume up a little bit. So, anyways, um, I'm just going to be working on this. video except to survive and teach you guys how to survive. So I guess I do have a goal. That wasn't very confusing. Why did I just get confused there? But um yeah. Oh, I double hit that one. hearing me say very often, I'm guessing, because I'm very random. So, um, this game is not very much like Minecraft, it's a lot different in just about every imaginable way. Some reasons are like, um, It's just not really. It's just not really a Minecraft like game. People are, people always say it's like oh it's Minecraft blah blah blah. Oh, it's got uh, people talk about it different. People give it a different community like, and also the community I think is better. Not just because the community in Minecraft is bad. But because you have a bunch of people who are um, like trying to help people give guides, and while a lot of people do that, most of them are earning money. But Terraria, you don't earn money from your guides. So there. Should be some other videos coming up, maybe one or two. Um, so yeah, let me check my time really quickly. Okay. Ugh. So I'm just gonna be all these. Sound violent. 
Okay, what I'm going to do is um, just pretty much wall myself in. Okay, so... Okay, I'm just going to get some... These are uh, falling stars. They're really useful in mana. They, they allow you to get like magic and stuff. Somehow, by eating stars, it gives you magic. Don't ask me what they were thinking. Because I would just tell you I have no idea. Okay. Okay, so there I go. I just died for the first time. Prepare for many more times like it. Now, in my opinion, it takes far too long to respawn. But, and I think that's everyone else's opinion, too. I've heard a lot of comments about it. Okay. I'm just gonna stay in here. Oh, my gravestone. Rest in peace me, my mangled body. Zombie get down there. I'm not even gonna question it. So, um, then you make a workbench once you have your little base base set up. And um, the workbench is not dropped. Is not dropped. It's supposed to be placed by left clicking it on the floor. Now instead of like Minecraft where you click on it, you just get near it in this game. So for instance, if I wanted to make, oh let's just say a bow, I would just make a bow that says the materials that would be needed. And this is pretty slow. Then I have this. Dang it, I guess I'm out of arrows. So you just make you can make a lot of arrows if you want, or just a few. It's all up to your opinion on how on what to do. You don't have to make it then. This. This is just a, one way to um, survive it the first night. Just <laughs> just go out and taunt all the enemies by shooting them. In an unfair way. So, there's a way to do that. Well, um, I decided to, it's, I'm going to make a, um, what I'm doing right now is I'm gathering stone. I'm going to use this stone for, for things like arrows 